Thursday afternoon. Well, when things get people talking, we want to hear from you. Fridays at 4, we take hot topics to the streets. We're seeing daily developments with the coronavirus vaccine. What we know for certain, not everyone is going to be able to get it all at once. Some are higher priority than others, depending on your job or health conditions. Well, the New York Times has a new web tool that shows you where you fall on the priority list. And guess what? Our Brianna Hollis showed it to the people in Mobile. Based on your risk profile, we believe you're in line behind two 168.7 million people across the United States. When it comes to Alabama, we think you're behind 2.1 million others. And in Washington County, you're behind 8,500 others. If the line in Alabama was represented by about 100 people, this is where you'd be standing. And then it'll be in red. Now, what are your thoughts? Well, from, I believe that's, those are good numbers to be in that particular spot, you know. I have no underlying issues, although I do have family members who do, so. You know. What are your first reactions on that? Well, my first reactions are it's kind of, well, it's really kind of bad because what if I really did have a health related issue and that I didn't know what if it was an underlying issue that caused me to get COVID, if any possible reason like that. And the New York Times made this tool in conjunction with data and medical experts. Oh, wow. Well, Bree, ever since the news broke about the vaccine, people have wanted to know where and when they can get the vaccine if they're interested. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this tool and how they can make that actually happen. Yeah, so I took it to, we're going to get some images up here of screenshots from my test. There we go. So <laughs> over here on this side is what I filled out. So that's how old you are, 28. What county do you live in? Baldwin County, Alabama what profession you are, news personnel are considered essential workers. So I put it down there and some information about your health. And then over here is the answers that it gives you. So that this right here is generated based on what you put on the other side. So in mine, I'd be behind 126.5 million people across the U.S., behind 2.2 million in Alabama in Baldwin, behind 83,000. And then let's go to the next video here. It says if Alabama was represented by 100 people, Show me where you are, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, <laughs> and right here. Oh, so that's, wow. Yeah, so 48th place given what I put in there, and obviously, you know, different answers based on um, the information that you put in, but it's, yeah, like you said, it's a pretty interesting way to kind of get a gauge of where you could be in line. Absolutely, and you know, when we, they first put out information about we're getting a vaccine, people were excited, but they were kind of like, hold up, I'm not sure about it. Right. While you were out talking to people, um, are you kind of seeing a difference in the responses? Now people are looking more forward to getting the vaccine? Yeah, so it was interesting. Some people didn't even want to talk to me at all or do it because they wow. were like, you know what, I don't want anything to do with the vaccine, so this is pointless to me. Um, but it, like always, is pretty half and half. But oh, wow. yeah, it's interesting to see. And like you Ugh. said, there's still so many more developments to come. So I guess we'll, we'll see if this holds true here in that 48th place in line. Oh, wow. Holds up. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We definitely appreciate you. And we definitely appreciate the folks out there for, you know, 